my I'm favorite. I'm over. <laughs> Things We've are a little you. bit bananas for me right now. Uh, but no, you Americans are going bananas. Why, you ask? Well, besides the obvious reasons, apparently the fruit was the most popular grocery item that you ordered from Uber Eats this year. Uber huh? Eats? Bananas? Yeah. Not pizza? No, no. <laughs> well, listen, so the company delivered more than 25,000 pounds of bananas in September alone. I'm guessing it's because everybody was making banana bread. Mm. You know how oh, popular yeah. that was? Really? During the pandemic? Yep. Instead of going to the grocery store? I, I, I don't know, eats? Netta, people are super lazy, what <laughs> okay. can I say? Um, I do buy them in bulk at Costco and I freeze them for snacks. Mm. So right behind bananas, booze, large <laughs> margaritas, Tito's vodka, mm. White Claw variety packs. Uh, Sacramento came in first ordering the most booze on Uber Eats. And let me give you a pro tip. If you blend a frozen banana with vodka, <laughs> it's delicious. Oh. Uh, from restaurants, you guys were ordering French fries, pad thai, California rolls, and mozzarella sticks. Okay, that makes more sense. Like yeah, the right. pad thai, for sure, that came to our house a lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there is a new girl in town at the National Toy Hall of Fame. The American Girl doll joins Barbie, the baby doll, and Raggedy Ann at the exhibit in the Strong National Museum of Play in Rochester, New York. Pleasant Roland created the 18-inch American Girl doll in 1986 to help teach kids about America's social and cultural history. Each doll has a unique story for her time and place and comes with an accompanying educational book. Oh. Other inductees this year include the board game Risk and Sand, just plain old play Sand. <laughs> just Sand. <laughs> yeah, just Sand. Uh, Cabbage Patch Kids, uh, Mahjong and Billiards failed to make the cut this time. Oh, do you guys remember American Girl Dolls and how expensive yeah. it was to clothe and you know, um, furnish? No, thank you. Uh, Jenny, they still are. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we Is Danielle it. into that? Uh, I, I try not to take it to the <laughs> store. Keep there's, her away. There's one in L.A., and it's like she's a kid in a candy store. Oh, man. It's way too expensive. It's, take, take her to the sand instead. It's yeah, zero dollars. Yeah, just give her sand. It's free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, singer Harry Styles has helped with a lot of big moments while he was on stage. He's aided a fan with the gender reveal and most recently he helped a California college student come out to her mom. Take a look. Lisa! She's good! Oh. <laughs> so Harry says McKinley caught his eye because she was holding a sign that said, my mom is in section 201, help me come out. Wow. wow. Yeah. Oh. Mc McKinley's mom was in a different section because she got a last minute ticket to the concert. I feel really blessed and very honored to be in that moment. It's very rare that you get to have these once in a lifetime experiences. So I'm, I'm very honored and blessed that I was able to be a part of it. Yay! <laughs> McKinley is a political science student at California State University, Northridge, and does say, honestly, mom probably <laughs> knew about my sexuality before Harry Styles officially <laughs> told her, but sweet nonetheless. Yes. But let us start with this. There's a ceremony to raise awareness for the Special Olympics, and it's happening right now in the South Bay. This is great. It's the 2021 Law Enforcement Torch Run through San Diego County. It kicked off this morning at Pepper Park in National City. It's being hosted virtually this year by National City Police. It's the 35th year, 35th year of the Law Enforcement Torch Run. People are running three and a half miles to raise money and support for Special Olympic Games that are held around the country. Torch Run events around the country this year so far have raised more than $96,000. Their goal is 130,000, oh. so they are close. They are close. Sweet. Something else, uh, the Susan G. Komen Foundation is on a mission to end breast cancer, and you can help. We'd love for you to join us Sunday for the More Than Pink Walk at Balboa Park. Now, the goal here is to raise $575,000. It all starts at 7.30 in the morning at Balboa Park on the corner of 6th Avenue and Laurel Street. Again, that's on Sunday. I know a lot of people from our station will be there, so come out and say hi. If you want more more information on that, go to cbs8.com slash community. We would love to see you there. Cheers to the week. This I know Netta is doing. <laughs> like at 12.35, I will begin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, cheers to the weekend and for the next 10 days. San Diego Beer Week starts today with the virtual toast at 7 p.m. <laughs> the event is hosted by the San Diego Brewers Guild and features dozens of breweries throughout San Diego County. You can join in on the toast tonight by sharing your pictures using the hashtags SDBeer and SDBW21. Oh, you're yes. so ready. So ready. You were ready at like 8 o'clock. 
this morning. Yeah. Well, you know, society sent in their yeah. collab beer. It's the capital of craft IPA that they made with a bunch of breweries. It's so good. I have no idea what you're saying. It's but so yes. good. It, <laughs> Netta, normally you share beers with me, but today no, I noticed no. I, I, yeah, I come away up to hand it. <laughs> it's like one of those special, like it, it'll run out like by tonight. Uh -huh. Okay, so she's going to So I'm all. like, I'm going to keep a few of these. I'm just going to take or them I'll away. remember that for next time. <laughs>